All right, I am back. Or right. hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do my full intro uh, because this might go on the end of um, the first part of the day, depending on how long this goes. So I'm not 100% sure yet. So uh, let's just let's just continue. Uh, I already read all this. By the time we finish our tour of school, since long said, just past 7:30 now. Still a little early in the evening, but it's, we might as well start hunting now. <laughs> Yeah, may as well. Yeah, maybe give it like another half hour, maybe. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, he's making a good point, Arkwood. Shikite, Henny Kimajime, eh? Because we were literally, we couldn't move. Yeah. And hindsight, I was reckless to have ever thought of meeting her in such a, in such a condition. True. If Akiha hadn't stopped me yesterday, I'm sure I would have dragged Darkwood down at some critical juncture. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what do you do? What do you plan what are you planning, Arkwood? だから、式は公園に行くつもりだったんでしょいや。まだ時間はあるんだし、昨日できなかったことなら今やり直せばいいじゃない。そう、ゴーンドザパーク。そう。ウィルリアシンボリックアイエス。アークウィッドテイクオ
about a m slightly over a mile. Oh no, it's way, way, way more, way more than that. What am I? What am I wait, oh no. Uh, one kilometer is 0.67 miles. So half. So uh, maybe about one mile. Maybe like slight. No, slightly. No, about a, about a mile. It's not that Arkwood was particularly fast either. If anything, she seemed to be going slow by her usual standards. Maybe my anemia is still acting up after yesterday. I don't exactly feel like I'm in the best shape right now. Yeah. I'd be surprised, surprised if you were. Hmm. Uh, come on, man. しき Couldn't she have said so earlier? I mean, if she did tell you before, you just forgot, I guess. With nothing better to do, I stare at the park's clock from my spot on the bench. It appears to be a little past nine. The crowds are thinning out little by little as the night deepens. Arquid doesn't sit down on the bench with me. Instead, she paces around aimlessly. Hmm. Time simply passes. It's so silent. The bright moon tenderly bathes Arkwood in the park in its silver light. Yeah. I think back to two days ago, when I was attacked in front of the Tono estate. If only the moon had been this bright back then. Then I might have been able to get a good look at the assailant's face. Maybe you should mention that attack to Arkwood. That might be information she wants to know. <laughs> She's like, what are you yelling about? What was that? I jump up from the bench. No. Yeah... I can't believe myself. What the hell was I thinking? I was attacked on my way home! How the hell could I have forgotten about that? You were having a lot of fun with Arkwood? Arkwood? <laughs> Once I've calmed down a bit, I run Arkwood through everything that happened in as much detail as possible. Mm. What do you think? After catching her up, I peek at Arkwood to gauge her reaction. From start to finish, her eyes remained focused. Her brow knit in silent consternation. Well, the executors are, are a weird bunch for her. Oh? Oh,そのクロイシャは何者か知らないけど、修道服を着た女の子とならケントはつく。Oh, okay. Arkwood narrows her eyes, struck with a foul mood. Well, it's not CL if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Though I'd say there's more to it. Beneath her de demeanor lies an irritation that pricks at her nerves. 
well, help and then subsequently almost killed us, but yeah. Yeah. Thinking back, I faintly recall her saying that executors work in pairs. So, so it's not a good uncle. Um, yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, <laughs> um, again, I'm assuming she thinks it's CL still. That's is my guess. Because it would make sense why she would think CL could sniff out his coffin faster. But... Yeah, you know... Arkwood's irritation levels are sky high. I'm not really sure why. But she clearly cannot stand Miss Noelle's partner. Okay, it's okay. It was just worded strangely, so I misunderstood what she was saying, okay. I've seen Arkwood demonstrate hostility before. I've seen her act with the full intent to kill, but I've never seen her display such blatant en enmity. She must really loathe this woman. Which she does. I, I really don't think she has a good reason to, though. Like, it wasn't CL's fault that, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail, but it wasn't CL's fault. <laughs> Unless it's different here. Uh. Uh, no. No. Yeah. 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 Unless you plan to just... Restrain her somewhere. We really won't be able to settle this peacefully, huh? No. <laughs> it's probably best to uh, abandon the idea of cooperating with Miss Noelle. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to work with you. If you're not going to say that, I won't say that. I won't say uh, that's very understanding of you. Yeah, he's being weirdly considerate. Mm -hmm. Well, you have your reasons. That's that's good enough for him. Plus, Miss Noel has been really weird towards him and almost <laughs> almost killed him. So like. <laughs> お前が嫌がってるのは分かったからな。でも、ノエル先生との関係とノエル先生の背景について別問題だぞ。いい加減、その代行者ってのが何なのか教えてくれ。そうね。余分な知識だから話さなかったけど、こうなった以上話しておく
自然に死体を隠蔽するそれがノエル先生みたいな連中か吸血鬼たちの天敵ってまた化け物じみたのが出てきたら Technically, they're human, <laughs> but as an unremarkable human being, I could do with fewer aberrations getting mixed up in my day to day life. Nani, it's the no, you. Tashkani, Daiko, Shama, Ningen, Badar, stay, look at all. Kareda, a dokoma, they, demo, Ningen, yo. Mhm. Kyu, Ketsky. Shito, no, ten, take to you, no, a. Anata, touch, Ningen, so no, 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 Yeah, <laughs> we're both their primary food source and their primary enemy. It's a very interesting dynamic. Even though we're essentially helpless livestock for them to feed on? What? <laughs> 人間以外の霊長類を排除し始めた。I think I asked this before, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I got an answer, but I, for, for the life of me, don't remember. Do werewolves exist? I, I'm, I, I feel like I vaguely remember asking, and someone told me yes. Or they did at least. But maybe I'm thinking of something else. その最たるものが聖堂教会。普遍的という名を掲げた欧州の一大宗教も彼らは昔から人間でないものを徹底的に淘汰してきたけどその中でも吸血鬼に対する敵視はどうかしているわ世界中のどんな宗教を見たって教会以上に吸血鬼を敵視している宗教はないあれはねすでに疲れてる病的すぎるこの私でさえできるなら関わりたくないぐらいだもの At, at full power, even if all of the executors came at you at once, you'd probably win, right? Like, I can't see. Because full power Arkwood is literally broken. So I, I, I just can't see. <sighs> even with all of the. Yeah, that's just, oh. Arkwood sighs in exasperation. Seems she's had her fair share of run ins with the church. After all, whenever I can help it, it would imply there are times she can't. De, Shiki o Tasketa no Sono Nakademo, Itangari o Semmon to Stay Renchu yo. Shuno, Shie o Daiko Sru, Toyu Yakuarikara, Excuta at the Obertel. Hmm. 教会の矛盾点を法ではなく力で処理する決して表には出てこない殺し屋みたいなエクソシストうんエクソシス Purgers of demons or vampire slaying priests in this case Yeah I'm so captivated by the idea I don't even know what to say まあただの対抗者なら可愛いものだけど Oh, adorable, huh? Yeah, I was, I was looking for the, for the word, very legacy. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, I just sneeze. That's a, that's a, that's extreme. So no no, it's the day go shaga, mama, the nanny must not cut the noah. Yeah, that's. It's interesting, though, how that, how that works. 
Like, eh, well. I mean, there's, um, fucking, what's his name? Uh, Solomon, who, like, <laughs> worships you. But, other than him, it's weird how they all have such disdain and view all non humans as evil. Because, like, Shiki would probably. Yeah, Shiki would probably qualify for, like, burial agency status, right? Like, if, if he... Uh, I don't know, how, how, does, how does that even work? Do they apply? Like, I imagine if he wanted to, he, he would qualify for the burial agency, but he doesn't see all non-humans as evil. You know, case in point with Arquid. So it's like... Huh. Very, very odd. Arquid pra uh, practically spits out the words before beginning to pace around. It feels like this just got a lot more complicated. Arquid isn't just targeted by other vampires. She's also being hunted by those who consider every vampire their enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda. I watch over Arquid as she wanders to and fro. Under the brilliant moonlight, she looks like a lost child with no place to call home. Mm. No allies to rely on, except for you. Shiki Tono, Tono Shiki. The hands on the clock steadily press on. Before I know it, a full two hours has passed since we came to the park. <sighs> I'm all rested up and the park has grown totally empty. It's time for the denizens of the night to come out to play, whether they be human or not. Arukuedo, soro soro ii in janai ka? So ne, soro soro ii to mo. Despite what she says, her mind seems occupied by something else. Uh... Um, yeah, that's that was weird, huh? It also talked, by the way. I, I, I don't I don't suppose we, we we mentioned that did we how it how it talked her usual enthusiasms are nowhere to be seen just something about to ask her what's bothering her she breaks the silence ah yeah <laughs> I mean yeah makes makes sense I'm I'm not really surprised hi <laughs> Talk about mood whiplash. <laughs> this girl's got all the consistency of a kaleidoscope. She was hit on, you know? Flirted, flirted, flirted with? Wait, this was also in the original, wasn't it? Wasn't it like Arihiko? いや、何が起きたのかはわかるんだが。お前、黒い死者について考え事してるんじゃなかったのか。Or no, I don't know if it's actually confirmed it's Arihiko, but I I had I think I like theor <laughs> when I played the original, I think I theorized it was Arihiko. してたわよ。だから思い出したの。死が襲われたみたいに私も男の人に声をかけられたなって。I, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, I, 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 I guess I get the connection, sort of. I guess that's true. I true. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
だからしばらく出方を伺ってたらただの人間だって分かったわんまさに間一髪ねあの人ほら昨夜の私誰かさんのおかげでちょっとイライラしてたから Yeah, no, that wouldn't have been good if you lost your, uh, lost, lost your, uh, <clears throat> composure at a, at a regular human. That would have been, that would, that would have been bad. Just wait. I was going to say, 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 I was going to s a その式の言葉を思い出さなかったらどうにかしてたかもしれないけど。ああ、いや、いや、それは本当に悪い。そうか、偉いぞ、アルクエド。お前にも分別ってものがあったんだ。ブラ。当然でしょ。私を怒らせるなんて式ぐらいのものだもの。他の誰にも私を殺したり助けたりしてくれる人はいないんだから。Yeah, I, I, I guess so. You're not wrong, I guess. Her voice is clear and full of trust. Yeah. I'm losing track of how many times that carefree smile of hers has caught me off guard. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I manage a response and avert my gaze from Arkwood's wandering. A month ago, back when there were no serial killers to worry about, this park would be filled with young couples and students hanging out on their way home. Now it's just the two of us. And for just this moment, vampires and lines of death are on the back burner. Here we are, idling around a moonlit park like it was the most natural thing in the world. ねえほら。What? I glance up when she calls out to me. なんだよ。何かあった。<笑>うん。ほらあの時計。これでちょうど時間になったね。Oh, is it 10 p.m.? <laughs> Arkwood points to the park's clock with a satisfied smile. She's right. It's exactly 10 o'clock. The time we promised to meet. A promise that I broke. And here we are in the very place where I left her all alone. The words seem stuck in my throat, though I can't say why. Why did such a small thing make my heart skip a beat? I don't know, man. Why did it? Why did such a small thing make her look so happy? Hmm. I really don't know. We spent the entire day walking around town together. And I never once felt like she was some terrifying vampire. Hmm. Stop this, Shiki. What? So. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Go on. Don't bother with such meaningless bullshit. What? 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 Mm-hmm. You've seen her fight. Like, what do you. What? what sort of answer are you expecting, you idiot? The thing is, he hasn't. He's asked it a few times. It's like, okay. Uh, I avert my eyes. Hmm. Watashi wa kini shi nai kedo. So let the hidoi bu joku yo. Um, you act very. human, <laughs> I guess. What indeed? I don't have anything to base it on, but she hasn't proven that she's a vampire either. Well, she got. she's insanely strong. 
Uh, she can enchant people with her mystic eyes. She, um, you know, literally had like a gash in her stomach that she duct taped or packing taped, whatever. Um, she came back from literally being killed by you. It's like, like, what, what more proof do you need? Which is why... だって。お前は血を見るのも嫌なんだろう。そんな吸血鬼がいるもんか。自分で半人前だと言ってたけど。血を吸ったことのない吸血鬼なんて。うん。半人前以下だと思う。Mm. Yes, this will go well for you. You know that isn't true. You just don't want her to be one. Mm-hmm. So... Oh? Uh... Erm... Our quid's voice is flat and emotionless. We... Uh, we, we didn't... We didn't... We didn't we... Our quid, we didn't mean anything by it. Promise. I get up and walk over. Just as she said, just as she says. Hi. Our eyes meet. A mere two meters separates us. And then, Arquid lets out a deep sigh before seemingly forcing a smile. So that's right. I was really thinking yeah, yeah, sure. Totally, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Pension leaves. I'm pretty sure it did. Dude, she's just acting. <laughs> Pension leaves my shoulders as I sigh in relief. I was so afraid that my question would have hurt her feelings. But Arquid shrugs it off like a joke. We're all good. Are you? <laughs> Bro, shut up! Please, shut up! Oh? What do you mean? Arquid flashes me a smile filled with mischief. あ、そうだな。なんならため。え。ウェイ、ワイ。イズダン。私が本当に血を吸えるのかどうか。たまにとか。メイビーウィ、メイビーウィドンドゥザット。ハウアバウウィ、ハウアバウウィドンウィドン
Her voice hums against my ear. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I feel her breath. Uh. <laughs> uh. Gonna. Gonna say anything now, Shiki? Or are you just gonna. Oh, hang on, let me. Let me get rid of the. You might, uh. You know, if you're so sure. Oh, you never know. It could be. Could not. It might not be a joke. I mean, it. I mean, you know. How much do you really trust this vampire, Shiki? How much? I, f uh, I feel her breath, her fingers, her weight presses into my shoulders, into my entire being. Uh, <clears throat> my senses, my mind, drown in the cacophony of my beating heart. I want her, I want her, I want her, I want her. Mood. <laughs> this is like much mood. Hang on. I fight to suppress the desires that rage within my chest. It takes everything I have to keep still. To keep my trembling left arm from reaching around her back. To stop my starving right arm from pulling her close. I want her so bad. She's irresistible. But even so, I can't allow myself to desire her. Because everything is different from last time. It's stronger. More intense. Why they gotta keep showing that? <laughs> Even the thing I crave is fundamentally different now. Yeah, you want... Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to kill her. It's a different impulse. Is it... <laughs> That's driving me insane here. But then I shouldn't sully her courage with something so vulgar. Clenching my jaw so hard I might shatter my own molars. I swallow the feeling bubbling within me. The struggle lasts no more than a second. During that time, our Arkwood neither moves nor flinches. A chill runs through my spine. It's just a joke. She's just having some fun at my expense. Mm hmm. That's why her. But then why does her breath feel so hot against my neck? Like a fever fanning a flame beneath my skin. Otto. Mm hmm? I try to say her name, but I shut my mouth before I can finish. Speaking now would be a rejection of my faith in her. It's over anyway. Any moment now, she'll pull back with a loud laugh and be back the regular old Arkwin! Uh-huh. She'll smile and say there was no way she'd drink my blood. <clears throat> you, you positive? Instead, her weight shifts against me. Her soft touch turns sharp as the sting of her nails presses into my shoulder. Her pale fingers tremble as she clutches at me. Uh... She's scared. Yeah, because she's weak, so she's... She's feeling the want and the desire to drink blood. A little stronger than she normally would. My own thoughts don't register fear. Not yet, anyway. They're pure, blank nothingness. But Arkwood is trembling more and more. Uh. Her breathing goes r grows ragged. Arkwood's breath is nearly flush against my skin. Yet she feels so far away. I can't see her face. 
but I can feel her. Her breath on my neck. Her weight as her trembling body clings tighter and tighter to my own. Her slow, labored breathing grows increasingly rapid until I can feel the heaviness of her desperate panting against my flesh. Unable to help it anymore, I'm forced to call out to her. Yeah. Her voice trembles. But her body no longer shakes, and her fingers grip my shoulders with newfound ferocity. <laughs> Noel or someone? Please interfere. Like she's still following us, right? I wince from the pain. <clears throat> Even though I don't wish to move. My body reflexively desires to get away from. But Arkwood's grip doesn't weaken. Her nails dig into my flesh like a vice, firmly locking me into place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she can, Shiki. Her grip doesn't loosen at all. This is bad. It's wrong. But who is it taboo for? Alarm bells ring out in my mind. My body pushes back with everything it can muster. Ah! <laughs> Um, that's not good. But I'm too late. Everything is too late. Since when? Now? Or five minutes ago? A day ago? Or perhaps from the first time we met? Um... Yeah, I don't know. Hard, it's hard, hard to say, Shiki. Hard, hard to say. Oh boy. There's the, uh, little... No, not, not, not brackets, the little... I don't remember, the, I don't remember what those are called, but, uh... It's, um... Her heavy breaths reverberate past my neck and into my brain. They convey her arousal like a wave of cascading neurons. An echo of crude, instinctual longing strokes my earlobe. There's no need for brute strength. Her honeyed voice is enough as it carries the words. My flesh and spirit melt away under her. Against the nape of my neck? Uh-huh. I feel a mad, desperate sigh. And in that moment... Uh... <laughs> what the fuck is this? Um... That's, uh, terrifying? Hmm. My sanity collapses. It's a primal fear. An unassailable power. A law unto itself. A being with whom I could never share an understanding. 
Its eyes swirl like tempests. Its maw is lined with jagged peaks. The deflection, this deflection of raw power, cold and unyielding as a waterfall, forbids all exchange of thought. The thing that's about to sink its fangs into my neck is not the woman I know, but the barest essence lurking within her core. And I've been returned to the natural order, to the primordial state from whence we all spawned. I can't do anything. I can't move a single muscle. She's going to devour me. So this is what it means to become prey. Before a, ble before a being of this magnitude, humans are mere drops of water waiting to be gulped. <laughs> Its fangs pierce my skin? Fear is all I know. Ah! Did she, did, wait, did she actually... Okay, no. He was just envisioning... the monster biting him and so he screamed, okay. She didn't actually bite it. Okay, good. I scream. Loudly enough to notice how pitiful I sound. In that moment, I'm not sure if I imagined it. But it felt like Arkwood stopped just as I screamed. Uh, okay, you know what? That's... Yeah. Yeah, no, um, that's reasonable. If, yeah, if Noelle saw that, I, I don't blame her for s stepping in. Yet before I can check, a violent noise whistles past us, and Arkwood is knocked back as if blown away by, by a gale of wind. Yeah, thank goodness, right? Noel, <laughs> Hi, That's me. Yeah. Noel comes to my side, but her eyes remain fixated towards where she launched Arkwood. Arkwood is okay. I don't know if that's okay, but despite having been launched a good 10 meters, she doesn't have a scratch on her. This... She seems dazed. As am I, actually. I don't know what I should be doing. I can't even think straight. But before I can collect myself... Huh? What? I ain't done nothing! <laughs> Walls of shimmering white light spring forth. Before I could even realize it, Noelle had planted three blades in the ground around me. The light stretches between each sword. Pivoting off the blades and trapping me within tri a triangular prison. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, that's, that's fucked up. Where we are regular human, you know. What do you think you're doing? We're kind of trapped, Arkwood. Also, I guess they don't know his power, right? His They don't know about his mystic eyes. Because he can just... He can just cut through it. I'm pretty sure. I assume even magic can die, right? 
so it's like, it won't really stop him. Arquid slowly pulls herself up. She eyes me in the newly constructed prison, then turns her attention to the nun at my side. Yeah. You fucked up. Nah, you're a novice. Arquid's demeanor shifts. Oh boy. That's uh Yeah, no, Noel, you came at a really bad time. She's uh her bloodthirst has uh <laughs> been riled up, so uh you probably won't see any mercy. Let's uh let's be real here. <laughs> um there's something off about her eyes. They swirl with malice, threatening to pierce the nun's heart. <laughs> ah, huh. This um, this doesn't, this doesn't look good. This uh, Noel, I would, I would leave. I would, I would take the, your black keys and just fuck off. You, you, you don't want this. You really, really, really don't. Yeah. Run away. What? I, I knew that shitty ass blonde kid was like that was obviously him. Like, come on, like I knew he was fucking shady as fuck. She leaps at Arquid unnaturally, like she was given a push in the back. It's no contest. There's zero chance of getting to Arquid with a move like that. Hey, at least she's thinking about us. <laughs> Arkwood rushes at her, palm wide open as if preparing to swat a fly. Huh? What the hell? How could she possibly have blocked Arkwood's attack after such a half-hearted charge? Uh, because Arkwood's weak currently. really break out of the prison and do something. Uh, You're a piece of shit, kid. Not far from me, I hear someone speaking. The sound of their voice contrasting oddly with their choice of words. Though I might not be able to move my body. I can at least return my gaze. There, I spot him. Same foreign kid I met, at, I met outside the Tono Mansion the other day. Oh. Those are like puppeteer gloves. Is Noelle not fighting of her own accord? I mean, I guess, I mean, I, I knew that, but like, is she not fighting using her own moves? Like, he's controlling her body? Each of his hands is outfitted with some kind of gauntlet. His fingers undulate, producing a mechanical clack with every twitch. The noise reminds me of an old-fashioned typewriter. Ah, what are you 
マリオネットの一つも知らねえとかふざけたことを許すな勤勉なのが日本人の美徳だろうが He knows what a marionette is, I'm sure. He's just confused as to what you're doing. Okay. He must be talking to me. But what do marionettes have to do with this? Those are the dolls you sometimes see during street performances, where the performer strings them up and makes them look alive. Oh? Now you want to talk? Oi! Sagare, Noel! That was one hell of a fight. Yeah, no. He's he's talking to make it look like she's doing her like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. Arquid is still heaving with exhaustion when the nun flees. But she finally has the time to look towards the barrier of light. Towards me. Oh, there's the little bracket thingies again. That's, uh... Not good. Her eyes shine a bright crimson. Her breathing is ragged and her back is arched like a predator. Ready to, pr ready to pounce at any moment. Well, she was kind of murdered, so. Sanity, <coughs> Sanity returns to her eyes. Seeing his chance, the kid steps closer to Arquid. お初にお目にかかる東方慰問司祭代行マリオジャンロベスティーノだうーん役職の高さには突っ込まないでくれ言いたくねえがジジイの何人目かの便宜上の養子ってやつでねうーんオッケーそうこの国の代行者の司令
ぜぜつもなく男にこびる勝負みたいにな I mean... その時の感想を本人に聞いてやろうか That's, that's a fucking filthy way to put it. Like, a... <laughs> okay. Yeah, ask us. Do I go on? The boy, Mario, turns my way. Oh, she looks devastated. Man. Look at her. Man, fuck you, Mario. Italian plumber looking ass. You're even wearing a red jumper. His gaze pierces my chest, momentarily taking my breath away. Despite his foul tongue, he does have a certain righteousness to him. <laughs> Oh, we'll tell you, all right. We'll tell you. Boku, I yoke he took the tabular to Korodesta. Chibirizona Grai Kuakata de Sutena. No, not even close. More than anything, I want to scream at him and tell him he's wrong, but I stop myself short. Denying it would be the same as lying. I was scared shitless. Passing it off as any less would hurt Arkwood more than a lie ever could. There's hurt in Arkwood's eyes as she averts her gaze. Shiki, you're right. Don't deny that you were scared, but say something. <laughs> That's not what happened. Shiki, show me you can do. No, you're wrong. Sure, I was scared, I can't deny that. But that's not what was happening. I never once felt forced. She always respected my free will. She didn't force me into anything. I was with Arkwood because I wanted to be, not because anyone told me to. Yo, that... あるけど、血を吸ったことなんて一度もない。さっきのはただの冗談だ。いや、シンギアバウトだ。シンギア。うーん、that's。何を言っているんです。一度も血を吸ったことがないですって。そんなざれ言を信じるとでも。あ、い
Yeah, I wouldn't call her Porky, to be honest. Yeah. The nun lets out a strange yelp and starts hopping up and down. All her hostility disappears like a leaf on the breeze. I'm starting to understand what the power balance is like here. Uh, okay. だがまあ、バカはバカなりにいい言葉を引き出した。一度も血を吸っていないとは泣かせるじゃねえかとの。なあ、そうだろ。アルクエイドブリュンスタット。yeah. Arquid doesn't answer. She just hangs her head and bites her lip. It's as if she's acknowledging that what she that what he says is true. <laughs> Um, I mean, we weren't in any danger anymore. Yeah. Arkwood lifts her head. I'm sorry. She barely whispers the words. The next moment, she's fled into the dark of night. Fuck you, Mario. Shiki, take the glasses off and ruin one of their <laughs> precious swords. <laughs> See how they fucking like it. I find myself shouting. Looking up at the moon, I move my glasses so I can see the lines. With a single slash, I kill two of the swords, keeping me captive. My thoughts are a mess. Those fangs that almost... My own screaming. These outsiders and their self-righteous garbage. I can't deny it, but... Uh-huh. If all she can do is run away with that pained look on her face, wouldn't that mean these jerks are right? Yeah. Fuck you, dickhead. The kid, Mario, doesn't block my path, but he does call out to me before I make a run for it. You tell him, Shiki. Huh? Oh, he does make a point. We should cool off, but crude as they are, his words snap me back to reality. By pure chance, they struck me right, right where they needed to. But it's just as he says. What point is there in telling a lie that even I don't believe? The kid is right. It'll only end up hurting Arquid and destroying me in the process. Taking a deep breath, I suppressed my need to chase after Arquid. So that's 
悔しいけどその通りだ助かったアルクエイドを助けてくれて Interesting wording Shelving my distrust for the time being I bow my head to the two of them いいぜ気が変わったちょっと話聞いてけとうの Oh? Chat about what? いや違うな俺が話を聞きたいのかまあいいどっちも同じだほらごちきな I wonder if he's decided to give Tono a chance not because of the apology or the thanks, that is, but because he specifically talked about them saving Arkwid and not him. Mario saunters over to one of the park benches, swallowing a deep breath, I follow after him. Honestly, I'd rather chase after Arkwood with everything I've with everything I've got. But in my heart of hearts, I know it wouldn't solve anything. And I have a feeling he knows what I should be doing instead. <laughs> no, stay standing and keep a lookout. <laughs> ベンチに座んのは俺だけだ。トーノはそこまで気を許しちゃいねえからな。どうせそこで立ちんぼだろ。Yeah, no, but yeah, <laughs> but it's probably. He saw right through me. Much like Noel, this kid is far from ordinary. んじゃあまあ、こっちから確認だな。Okay. 俺たちのことはどこまで聞いている吸血鬼退治の専門家だろアルクエイドは聖堂教会の代行者だと言ってた。Yeah. She told us that you got here. <笑>そうか。それだけ知ってりゃ十分だ。説明が省ける。Mm. 俺は親父の代わりに派遣された新人でな。実のところ。この国の事情はまだ半分ってところだ。OK。そこの三下は俺より早く調査していたがな。ただし独断。俺じゃなかったら、師匠だけでなくてめえも更迭されてたからな、ブータ。感謝しろよ。Not to be so mean. はーい、感謝しています。お坊ちゃん大好きでーす。No well. <laughs> no well. Come on. Uh, Mario? Your subordinate is clearly mouthing off about you when you aren't looking. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mario's tone shifts ever so slightly. This is clearly no simple question, but I can't get a read on his intentions. I've got no choice but to answer truthfully. Oh, he, he, he drops the vet Michael and Valdemion, okay. Mm. Yeah. Um. Um, yeah, that's 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 probably our fault. Yeah, <laughs> so uh -huh. can't bring myself to say it, but her current her current condition is definitely due to me killing her. 
まあいいもう一体大物が来てたって報告もあるしな眉唾だったんで後回しにしてたが調査対象にあげておくか I'm guessing that's referring to Nero If I were to wager a guess よし確認はこれで済みだここからは本題てめえを呼び止めた理由てめえが殺したがってる敵の話をしてやるよ Oh, oh thanks that's, that, that's real nice here ちょ司祭代行それは Miss Noel is gesturing feverishly behind him. This information must be highly confidential. Well, seeing as how he probably has figured out our eyes, he probably realizes we're the only one that can actually kill Roa. So it's like, you know, it's, it'd be good to have us on his side, you know? <clears throat> And that's exactly why I'm dying to know. Oh, what I'm dying to know about. I don't know why I said, you know. Aside from his name, I still don't know a thing about the vampire we're facing. <laughs> 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 I wonder if he would tell, be telling us this. If we weren't from a rich family. If, if the Tonos were poor, he'd probably just say, eh, fuck you. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, please, please, please do. Na, Tono. Take you a furry type no cuketsky dato itana. Uh, I think so. The cotoa Yatrega fukans and a furrow she dat the cotomo kiteruna. Something like that. Kiter Stoa, Ningen no chio suanakcha, Karadaga tamutenai. Kero Gakuni Ningen no chio stirbunua. Um, well, Roa has something a little extra. So, the Kedo saw Sorette Kekyo Hurof Shito a Yeneona Hurof Shiteno a Konzen no image daro Ningen Tedo no Chiganakcha ekite ekenai Chio no manai to Karadaga Kuzrete ekimono nanza Konzen you a hodotoi Mushiro Ningen ekadaro. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. Sounds like a bunch of BS, I want to say. But he's not wrong. No one would dispute that vampires are superior to humans. But if they can't survive without ingesting blood, how are they any different from other organisms? Hmm. なんだとの話が早いな隣座るか有能なやつは好きだぞ俺ああいや I don't think so 結構だよ<笑>けどそれがどうしたんだよ欠点はあれ吸血鬼は限りなく人間の血がある限り不老不死なのは変わらない true こんな不老不死の定義がアルクエイドの敵についての話なのか Well, it, it has a lot to do with it, actually. Ah, I'm going to go back to the house. 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 That's more due to them usually being mages or some other thing prior to being a, de a dead apostle, though, right? Technically. Oh, well, no, because Satsuki, well, but she was also, she also has a like predisposition 
So. そのこういう能力は奴らが人間だった頃に手に入れたものをそのまま何百年と成長させたスキルに過ぎない。奴らは自身が学んだものを吸血鬼になっても学び続け、結果としてそれが原理になっただけだ。原理。その使徒の命題
、はあ、そして自分を引き継ぐにふさわしい知性が育まれた段階でその赤子はそいつになっちまうのさ、okay. ちょっと待ってくれそれって何かまさか赤ちゃんが母親の中にいるときに手術をするのかうん、シーキー、on, いや、医学的な手段じゃない。そいつは今の肉体が滅ぼされた瞬間に、あらかじめ決めておいた体に転生する。要は、副者だな。さっきは全情報と言ったが、要するに、電波みたいなもんだ。うん。この場合、電波を発信するのも受信するのも、人間の脳になる。そいつの優れたところはな、魂なんていう、計測不能にして、肉体という器がなければ無産してしまうものを、伝達可能なものとして加工したことだろうよ。うん。Okay。Leaving aside the question as to whether that's even possible, <laughs> that would mean this person is born and raised as a human. Until one day they, they transform into a completely different person, a vampire. Wait. Mario. It's not you. So it's got. Just hear him say Mario. Just see what. Ah, so you got it. Mm hmm. I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to be a good one. Mm hmm. かつての名をミハイル・ロア・バルダムよ今は赤者のヘビとも天性無限者とも言われる使徒だヘビは無限や循環のシンボルだからな脱皮して新しい体になるってのはこいつにはぴったりの俗称だそれがアルクエイドの敵うん A reincarnating vampire The mere thought prickles my skin. But now I finally know what we're up against, despite Arkwood's reticence. しかし、ここからが問題でね。うん。If you kill him, he just goes to the new host. 姫様はもともと吸血鬼を殺すための装置だったんだが、ロアが現れてからは、ヤツだけを執拗に追いかけるようになっちまった。ロアが今まで転生した回数は16回。そのことごとくを真相は消滅させている。いや、ことごとく消滅させてるって。でも、そいつは死んでもまた生まれてくるんだろう。なら、倒す意味はないんじゃないのか。そうだ、ロアは真相に殺され、その度に転生し、また真相に殺される。そんな繰り返しをもうずっと続けてきた。その年数、実に800年。あの姫様に、相手の肉体ではなく、その意味を消滅させられるような力があれば、well, あんなクソ野郎をのさばらせることもなかったんだがな。We, you have someone in front of you who can, who can kill the, who can strike at the essence of death itself. So it's like, You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. Pure disdain seems to underpin every syllable. Maybe I'm imagining it, but I get the feeling he has a thought or two about Roa that he hasn't mentioned out loud. Hmm. Nara. Mate, yo, Tono. Koko made no service da. いい知らせと悪い知らせ、どっちから聞くってやつだ。あ、uh, yeah. もちろん、ここまでのはお前にとっていいニュース。ためになっただろ He's about to drop the who turned Roa. Like you can tell, that smile is so sinister. あ,あ、ロアってやつの情報は感謝してる。Mm-hmm. Not sure why, but I've got a creeping feeling that I shouldn't hear what's coming next. Uh-huh. 
ロアの厄介なところはその発見が極めて困難なことだ何しろれっきとした人間の子供として生まれ人間の両親がいるんだからな、yeah. ロアが吸血鬼として肉体と意識を変貌させるのはロアが満足に活動できる年になってからだそのためその人間は吸血鬼としての片りを全く見せないそのくせロアとして目覚めれば今まで培った人間関係を利用して完全に社会に溶け込みやがる yeah, he's an annoying bastard. 教会が異変に気がついた時はすでに手遅れ一つの町がそのまま使徒になった後なんだとさ At this point, I can't even nod, nod along as he tells his story. I'm frozen stiff. I really don't like where this is going. ま、だ人間のままなんじゃないか。あれ。残念ながらの転生するのは人格ではなく魂だからな。一度真相に血を吸われた人間はその肉体のみならず魂まで汚染される。うん、that's a Shiki had assumed because Arquid had explained they can become, you know, dead apostles through obviously, you know, getting their blood drunk or through magecraft. So he probably assumed he, his blood was drunk by either an, an, another dead apostle or magecraft, is probably what, probably what he assumed. But he hears true ancestor now, he's probably like, wait. Loa wa tamashi to you, Joho Sibeteo. Tsugi no jibun ni hikitsugaser. Tato e ningen de aroto. Loa ga mezameta jiten de niktai mo kyuketski ni hembo sir. Mhm. Daga. Daga. Nanda yo. Tono no yu tori. Sore dewa choito bakari yo wai. 転生先の肉体が平凡なものならその代のロアは無能な吸血鬼になっちまうからな、yeah. だからロアは生きているうちに転生先を決定しておく転生先に選ばれる条件は2つ1つは富豪であること社会的地位も高く財産も豊かな家の子供として生まれれば町すべてを吸血鬼化させるのに便利だからな。Yep. そしてもう一つ。これが肝なんだが、人間の中にも特別な力を持つやつ。<笑> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 魔術のような学んで習得する神秘ではなく、生まれついてその肉体が持ってしまう得意能力。Mm -hmm. 一般に超能力者。鬼ごと差別されるもの。いや、だびやす。得意能力ってのは肉体的なものだからな。家計、血筋で遺伝する。ロアは自分の新しい肉体に、そういった人間ではないものの家計を選ぶって話した。富と名声があり、その裏で人間以上の力を持つ家計。<笑>それが転生先に選ばれる条件ってわけなんだが。Sound familiar, Shiki? Likai s t e k r e t a k a t o n o Shiki k u n Mm hmm. Dizziness overtakes me. The corners of Mario's lips curl into a sneer. Noelle's gaze is ice cold. There's only one family in this city that meets those conditions. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I hear a hollow, dry noise. <laughs> It's coming from me. I don't know, what are they saying? 
どちらかが吸血鬼だっていうのかい,いえ今回の転生先は男子ですそれは証言が取れています今代のロアは遠野家の長男に間違いはありませんああ See, you think that, but well, I mean, you're not wrong, <laughs> but there's it's not us. I don't, I don't understand the words she's saying. Doesn't that mean that Arkwood's enemy is actually there's no way it can't be if that if it's true, then why hasn't she killed me yet? So, うーん。だがもう。どうにも風向きが違うな。あ、オッケー。そこの三種との報告は間違いだ。お前はロアの転生先じゃない。赤ちゃんのヘビは別の人間だ。オッケー、I'm <笑> はあ、ちょ、私たちの報告書ちゃんと読んでるのかこのジャリガキ。調査に何日かけたと思ってるのよ。ああ、I'm ラウレンティス気境の秘蔵っ子だぞ。人を見る目だけは同じくらい真っ当な人間だ。Our conversation was just a ruse for him to determine whether or not I was Roa's host. I mean, I'm glad to be cleared of suspicion, but that just leaves me with more questions about this kid. Smari, do you? Hmm, I wonder. That's, that's good. Uh, okay. The boy shrugs his shoulders and gets up from the bench. It appears he has zero interest in what happens to me after this. Ah, what's up? Let's go. <laughs> I like how he acknowledges that, yeah, there's there's definitely tension there between Shiki and Arkwood. <laughs> Oh, we can hold our own. No, don't worry about us. Mm, it would take quite a lot, to be honest. Uh... Noelle makes no attempt to hide her, her hostility as she blocks my path. Noelle, you really don't want this smoke, okay? You really, you don't want this. I'm sure she must have her reasons to be so cold towards vampires. But her reasons aren't mine. She's not the only one with beliefs she refuses to compromise on. I really need to go after Arkwid. そっちこそいい加減にしてくれ。さっきのはただの冗談だったんだ。おお。あいつは血を吸わない。いい吸血鬼なんだから。ああ、about that. Uh 
人を殺していないから善人ですってあは笑わせないで吸血鬼は人間にとってなんであれ悪なのよ Are they? いいえ人間でありたいと思うならあの枠組み自体を悪と区別しなくちゃいけない Must I? それができない人間に人としての権利はないわ人でないのなら私の排除対象です Mario, you gonna do something about this or do we gotta handle it? <laughs> よく考えて答えなさいあなたはこれからどこに向かうの Mm, after Arkwood, she urges me to pick between life or death. If I declare that I'm chasing after Arkwood, she'll swing from my head with all her might. I. Okay, if I. Ch if, okay, if. Okay, this is. This should be obvious, right? If I go to chase after Arkwood, she'll just knock my head off from behind. Right? Like, it should be ready my knife without another word. I, I would think. Yeah, Mario. Mario's got a good read on, uh, read on us. Huh? What? <clears throat> なんでってそろそろピアノの影響が出る頃だからだよお前ねあの姫様と打ち合ったんだぞ1ヶ月は手足に力が入らねえからまだ動けるうちに教会に帰っとけあ、maybe maybe that wasn't a dead end choice <笑>なやあ、ジー、I wonder why。Miss Noel no longer blocks my path。Instead, she writhes on the ground。あとはそっちの問題だ。ノエルの発言は気にすることはねえが。まあ、<笑>帰れるうちに帰っておくのが人間らしい知恵ってやつさ。何もかもなかったことにできるのは、なあ、ピンカムグッド。Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll go after Arkwood. Thank you. He never gets an answer. There's no more time to waste. In search of Arkwood, I bolt out into the night. That was dramatic. <laughs> I sprint through the city in a reckless search. But there's no sign of her. Without any leads, this town's way too big to find a single person on short notice. The only choice here is to narrow down my options. Arkwood stands out, so I should be able to spot her from a distance as long as we're in the same area. I've got to predict I've got to predict where she might go and take my chances. If Arkwood's anywhere, it's Ooh. This is a tough one. I doubt she would go back to her apartment. I feel like she would throw herself into her work, aka hunting down. But the school one is the only one with a question mark, which makes me. But I also know from the original that. The school is bad at night, so to speak. So, I'm gonna go with back alleys of the shopping district. I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm, let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure going to the school would be a dead end. I'm almost positive. So, let's go to the alleys. I'll head for the shopping district. I've got nothing to base it on, but I have a feeling that Ark would, uh, would prefer the darkness of the inner city. She looked so sad and wounded before. Something tells me she'll seek out a place where she won't, where she won't run into anyone. 
a place where nobody ever comes by. If you want to run away from everything, you're not going to look for familiarity until after the matter is settled, so it won't be her place. But I don't think my instincts will be enough to find her. There's only one way for me to add a measure of accuracy to my wild hunch. I remove my glasses. Death drowns my vision. Lines pulse across humans, buildings, and the rest of the city. I swallow back the bile that rises up through my throat. Arkwood doesn't possess the same abundance of death that other life forms do. In a world overflowing with death, she's the only respite from these repulsive lines. If I look out across the crowds, she should, she should stand out as a singular, unblemished beacon. It's not the most refined plan, but it's the best I have right now. <laughs> oh. Pain bursts behind my eyes. I do my best to view everything in that detached, general way, without focusing on any one line too much. Arkwood told me this pain is caused by the burden that seeing death puts on the brain. My glasses can't stay off for too long. Yeah? Everyone downtown is perfectly ordinary lines. There's not a single soul around that looks like the ones we hunted down before, with masses of graffiti crisscrossing their bodies. Okay, maybe put them back on. I rub my temples to soothe the throbbing beneath the skin. My headache will only intensify if I keep my glasses off. But I have to hold out a little longer. On the off chance, she's somewhere on the main streets. It's fine. It'll be easier from here on out. Once I get to the alleys, there'll be fewer people. And way fewer lines. I need to hurry for those darkened back streets. In a place where even the moonlight can't reach, it should be easy to spot her bright, pale form. Mm. Oh, Shiki. <laughs> the exhaustion of running, combined with my throbbing headache, makes me makes me want to hurl. Yeah. When I wipe the sweat from my forehead, I notice how feverish I am. I can feel my temperature even with my own hand. I don't remember ever feeling this hot, not even when I had a near 40 degree fever. The first place you guys talk. It's the only place I haven't checked. Yet. At the end of this road lies the alley where we had our first conversation. If she's not here, I'll have to admit my gut was off. Uh... This is concerning. Why is everything vibrating? A wave of cold hits me the moment I step into the alley. The chill that crawls down my spine is icy enough to cool my fever. I see something strange in the distance. Sparks popping and crackling within the darkness. Or to be more precise, lines of death. Thick globs of them thrumming and churning before they vanish into nothingness. Killing some zombies? The intermingled lines of death belong to zombies. The fact that they're disappearing can only mean one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Against my better judgment, I press on through the pain and exhaustion. All but forgetting the foreboding chill that hangs thick in the air. Pushing against the rusted iron door, 
I slip into the dark passage. I'm in the alley entrance. The buildings press in on both sides. I wade through the lines, as if traversing a muddied river. At least a hundred lines were cut here tonight. But that doesn't make sense. I know this place. Dead or alive, there's no space for a hundred zombies to fit here. That means the grisly scene before me can only be... A single body dismembered into dozens of little pieces. Mm. She was taking out some aggression, huh? doesn't matter. I refuse to think about it. But what I can't bear is that with every step I take, the creaking and gnawing of bone rattles my ears. Instinct strokes my brainstem with saw-like teeth, whispering, Stop. Don't go. Turn back. That which awaits you in the end. It's not for your eyes to behold, it says. Three. I know that already. But I won't go back. I won't abandon Arkwood. If I leave her now, I've got an awful, haunting feeling that she'll die. It's a premonition I can't shake. So despite my better judgment, I press further in. Arquid, you back here? I'm here. There's no trace of zombie flesh. My mind runs cold. My vision is consumed. An ocean of red liquid waste covers every surface. And rem the remnants of zombies, now faceless, arms crushed to pulp, insides completely mangled, violated totally and needlessly. The thick stench of blood mingles with the cold, still air, robbing me of my voice. Everything is red. The walls, the ground, perhaps even the moon's glow have taken on a crimson hue. Art. Red. <laughs> Hang on. <coughs> A dull squelching noise echoes through the alley. A creature, maybe the last of many, covered in thick, heavy lines, dies at her hands. She crushes it without effort or mercy, with a single hand, like an ant. The zombie's head is grabbed by unseen hands and lifted into the air, where it dangles for a moment before an enormous pressure caves it inward, splattering the walls with blood and brains. I gaze upon this world where even the moonlight is crimson. At its center stands Arquid. She hasn't noticed me. She's just staring at the moon, entranced, her breathing heavy and wild. Ah, uh, I can't call for her. The creaking sensation in my spine reaches, reaches its climax. It's as if the saw finally cut through the bone. Snap. My consciousness is screaming. I can't stay here. I don't want to die, it wails. Um, our quid, it's, it's us. We're not an enemy. But it's too late. In this world of red and white, I'm an intruder. 
the woman in white turns. Like a one-eyed demon, she shifts her terrible glare my way. That golden eye is blinding. Our eyes didn't meet, but I looked into hers all the same. That alone was enough to make the blood rush to my head. Enough to erase all reason, all sense of self. The first thing I feel is pure survival instinct. You can't be here. You can't look at that. Don't make your presence known. Don't let them see you. You can't talk to them. You can't coexist. It's impossible. You can't fight it. You can't escape. You can't even pray. No matter what you do, you can no longer be saved. This creature is on a different level. Though the concept of levels is meaningless here. The difference between us is so vast. We may as well be on different planes of existence. It's more than me. It eclipses my being. Which is why every one of my blood vessels dilates at once. It starts with fear. A bloodlust akin to rapture follows soon after. Like lightning flashing across a clear sky. The clearest conclusion in the history of mankind. This is, um, mildly terrifying. My cells rejoice at a revelation on par with that of the most enlightened saints. It's simple. This thing shouldn't be allowed to exist. We have no need for it. So we must kill it. Kill it quickly. Kill it here. Kill it now. Be swept away by the pulsing river in your veins and expel that thing. My heart leaps. I know I couldn't win, yet every part of me rumbles and moans, urging me to kill her. This is all backwards. If I don't want to die, I should kill. Even though I'll be killed, I should kill. Is my head crammed with nothing but thoughts of murder? <sighs> yeah. It's no use. My ego is gone. That eye. I shouldn't look into that golden eye. There's nothing I can do. There's no way to escape her. Thump, thump, thump. My blood declares, boiling with every beat. It surges in a way I can hardly resist. But there's something else. Something desperate to crush the de desiccated husk of my rationality. Why do I want to kill? Is it because I don't want to die? So I need to kill before I'm killed? What a stupid thought. I'm going to die laughing at this rate. You don't need a reason. Be honest with yourself, Tonoshiki. Don't you remember what you did to that woman once upon a time? No, you. Your rationality is what needs to shut up. It's really that simple, isn't it? I want her. I want Arkwid. I've craved her from the moment I saw her. So badly it made me want to puke. <laughs> Shiki, don't you lose yourself now. I want all of her. Her body and mind. Her tears and her saliva. 
her blood, her flesh, her desire, her frustration. My breathing is abnormal. I'm losing consciousness. Good, the golden pupil flickers. I'm looking at her. I think that no matter how much I kill her, it'll never be enough. Hi. Her eyes are red again. But it's already too late. What's too late? We're past the point of no return. <laughs> A stifled cry enters my ears. Okay. Obviously the whole thing with Mario didn't happen in the original. But a similar scene as this here does. And there is a specific choice. But I know there's no <clears throat> scenes in, in, in the in the remake. So I'm wonder I wonder how it's gonna be handled. A stifled cry enters my ears. Like I care. I grip my knife tighter and push the woman to the ground. It's easy. All strength has left her body. Straddling her, I wrap one hand around her throat. I raise the other high in the air, knife poised. There's just one thing left. Striking a single blow into the space between her breasts. <laughs> I hear the woman's voice. The pulsing beat in my head boils. Shut up. My fingers tighten their grip around her neck. She throws her head back in pain. I struggle to believe it. She's normally brimming with strength, yet she can't even rid herself of my grip. Snap out of it, buddy. Still struggling for air, she gasps my name. Thump. My heart pounds, impelled by the excitement in my blood. Each breath is wilder than the last. My vision is distorted. Every part of me feels it gets turned to lava. It's hot. So hot. I want release. <sighs> My body moves. Slowly. Purposefully. I remove myself from her stomach. Sliding downward. Oh? Uh... Ah! Uh, uh, hello? Spreading her legs, I sink my hips into the space between. <laughs> Buddy? What are you doing? Her eyes shimmer with anxiety. That gaze only makes my brain boil at a higher pitch. My vision is bloodshot. I feel like I might faint. Every cell in my body cheers with elation. This is what we were born for. If I don't... Hang on, did it? Am I crazy or did it show the start of a word for a brief, like, millisecond? There. I- okay. If I don't, this woman right now will go insane. Her vermilion tinged cheeks. Her neck so very soft. Nothing could surpass the form of the woman beneath me. I can feel her every motion. Her eyes, 
brilliant pools of gold that seem to suck in my soul. My arm leaves her neck. Its fingers trace her chest. They feel the softness of her body, of her legs. When my fingertips meet the pale skin of her abdomen, I notice the warmth that lies beneath her flesh. Yeah, I keep trying to talk sense into him. Her voice trembles with heat. Her red eyes plead to me. With that, the last of my thoughts become unhinged. There's a soft gasp, a cry as if to stifle her shame. With both hands, she desperately tries to push me off. But I grab her wrists, pinning them to the ground so they can't move. If only I had nails to hand- uh, With her hands like this, she looks like she belongs on a crucifix. Her eyes are filled with contempt slash regret towards the man holding her down. The sight is intoxicating. She's even more alluring than she was before. I can't use both my arms. The second I let go, she would no doubt sever my neck. Um. The tension elicits a grin from me. I must be more beast than man. My urge to... is surpassed by my desire to see us kill each other. Yeah? Once more, my hand seizes her pretty pale throat. It's so pale. So, so pale. Only my mouth retains the freedom to move. I set my teeth to her chest. Her body still resisting, convulses under his touch. He sighs. His breath traces her stomach. Pickle of warm air is enough to make her squirm. He moves aside her clothing and brings his tongue to her sensitive, snow-white abdomen. Suddenly, he recalls a hunger. That's right. His stomach is empty. He's always been hungry. Saliva falls as he drools with a never-sated appetite. pushes against him, but she's no match for the hunger. What are you waiting for? It was the same before. Back then, you were the main dish, but this time you get to, di get to dine. For all our differences, we are identical at our core. For drinking your blood at the park, this stupid impulse, the burgers you had for lunch, it's all the same. We eat because we must. We eat because it's fun. We eat because we want to. We devour each other out of love. That's all this is. For us animals, that's all it needs to be. This resistance was inevitable. Her plump breasts jiggle below me. That trembling, mouth-watering canvas, the mark of a healthy woman. I sink my teeth into one of her breasts. <laughs> she raises her voice. Her back arches with surprise. I don't pay it any mind. I gnaw until it feels like I might rip through. Stopping short so I can run 
run my tongue across and savor her taste. Her body heats up. I no longer feel a trace of the cold that hung so thick in the air. She struggles to muffle her cries, perhaps embarrassed by the sound. There's pity in her voice. My mind blurs. I've already abandoned all sanity and thought, but now it feels like my sense of self is getting more and more clouded. Her voice trembles with despair, but I don't hear it. I don't understand it. My knife rises higher, higher into the air. My vision is drowned by a bloody haze. The more conscious I grow of my urge to kill, the harder it becomes to stop myself from moving. Cheeky. I mean, I know he's not gonna kill her. This would be a really weird place to end the game, but. A mournful voice. Her, her eyes are wet with tears. I wouldn't be so sure about that. My head hurts. My instincts scream to keep going. My heart insists that if I stop now, I'm dead. That somewhere down the line, she'll gut me in my sleep. But she's crying. This woman who always smiles so brightly, so confidently is crying. I can't believe it. I can't allow it. If it were me, I would never make you cry. My head hurts. It's screaming at me to run. The conflicting impulses mesh together. One last time, I ask, I ask myself what I want to do. I... Um... I'm pretty sure can't despise her would be the right choice, right? I can't do it. I can't make her cry again. Last time my headache made me feel this way, I killed her. So no. Not again. Aww. Even if it burns my brain to cinders. I won't defile Arkbid. There you go. <sighs> I pull away from Arkbid. The headache dissipates and my heartbeat returns to normal. <sighs> the clouds of violence clear from my mind, granting me full realization of what I was doing. Yeah, I can hardly believe myself. But the memory is all too clear. I pushed Arkwood against the ground. I tightened my hand around her neck, and I was on the verge of running my knife through her body. And I'd sought out her flesh like a beast. What do I say to this? Arkwood readjusts her clothes as she gets back on her feet. How can I even start apologizing? 
Sorry isn't going to cut it. I did something deplorable. Evil. I... You both have issues. I don't think that's some... <sighs> no, she's wrong. This is my fault. Who gives a shit about chronic anemia or never-ending dizziness? Neither of them matter. None of this would have happened if I weren't so fucked up. しきは私の魔眼を見てしまった。抑えることなんてできるはずがない。吸血鬼の目は魅了の魔眼だと言ったでしょ。見た人間の気持ちに関係なく、自分の虜にするのろい。だから気にしないで。しきが私に性的欲
That was a lot heavier than the original. Like, a lot. <laughs> a lot heavier. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure at the end of that... Arquid didn't leave. I'm pretty sure they made up right there. Like, it was still awkward. But... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just misremembering, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, um, that's gonna do it for this, uh, episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. I know I didn't add a lot of commentary those last, like, 50 minutes, but it was just intense story beats and, and happenings, and I didn't want to interfere too much but I did that was just so much heavier I I kind of like how there's more church involvement in the remake too because it adds another layer and kind of expands on the whole dichotomy there with her in the church I guess whereas in the original it was mainly like a thing between her and CL right with the little church, you know. The actual, the, the church itself didn't feel like I had much to do with it. But here it's different, which, you know, I kind of, I, I, I like it. But, yeah, no, anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks for watching. And, yeah, next time we will start Day 11, Blood Red Moon 2. Later.